motherfucking conscious, nigga, don't even do it. Don't start acting like a bitch, cause you forgot where you going. You made choices that done put you here, and now you just ruined. And I don't care about why you did it or who got you influenced. Am I boring you? I'm Detective Haggerty. Detective Jones. Superiority Mountain. Man, Joyner is really great at making these videos that tell a fluid story. My man. Look at this lovely cast of characters. This is a nice example of a good cop, bad cop situation, which obviously works very well with this song. Let me tell you something right now. These guys are in the next room over, and you know what they're doing? They're fucking singing. Whether or not that's actually true, they're going to tell you that just to scare you. Just remember to always ask for your lawyer first. This your motherfucking conscious, nigga, don't even do it. Don't start acting like a bitch because you forgot where you're going. Man, that cut from the detective to Joyner in the detective's clothes was amazing. Also... This beat is fire. It works really well with the storytelling in this song. Nah, don't listen to that nigga. That ain't good advice. If you cooperate, then this your chance to save your life. This whole song is mimicking the battle in this guy's head between the part of him that wants to snitch and the part of him that doesn't. And it's a really great concept in general. Just tell them what they want to know, and you won't pay the price. Some will call it snitching, but for me, I call it make it right. He calls it make it right, because some people think that snitching will set you straight. It's a great representation of a lot of people in this situation for real. You gotta sit to your bed. You should have thought about this shit before you did what you did. This is also very true. You committed the crime, so you have to deal with the consequences. We both know that jail ain't the place you wanna go. Somebody fucking on your bitch, you trying to call a phone. If I was you, I'd tell them boys everything they wanna know. I mean, both sides make valid points. When you're in jail, you have no idea if someone's fucking your girl, and you're totally helpless either way. Let's make an illustration. Let's say you switch up with it and bitch up in and make a statement. Okay, that might be my favorite flow in this entire song, and I'm gonna give it 10 wins. Did you hear that shit? Now you might be free, but you might get killed for giving up information. Damn, see what I mean? Both sides have valid arguments. If you snitch, you don't know if someone's gonna kill you for giving them up. No visitations or no letters you've been waiting for That pussy you've been craving for You may not get laid no more He's basically just saying that when you're in jail You're deprived of a bunch of things that you take for granted out of jail So you really want to avoid going there, obviously kids will grow up knowing that you're just a sucker for life Man, the beat coming back in during that line gets me every time This is fire Also, that's a great line because if you snitch, your kids will know about it and know that their dad is willing to sell people out for his own freedom. And if you leave it here tonight, you better cop a burner. This line refers to how a lot of people will get a burner phone after snitching because they don't want to get tracked through a normal phone, which is apparently much easier to track than you might expect. Alright man, it's me, Vic, and Rico, and c -Dot. This is a really cool little detail. When he starts to snitch, the ad-libs that are saying snitch come back in, which is a representation of how he might be regretting his decision, but he can't turn back now. You know what I mean? He was a top dog. You know, Rico sort of ran with whatever Vic was doing, you know what I mean? I was involved in it, but I really wasn't... I really was just, you know, was told what to do. Having the guy talk while showing the arrests is a cool thing that a lot of movies and shows will do, where people give up their plans while the plans are being shown on screen. What's up now, nigga? And holy shit, now he's dead. See what I was saying before? You have to be prepared to deal with the consequences of your actions, which includes possibly getting killed for snitching. I want to see my lawyer. And that's what I said at the beginning. Always demand your lawyer before doing anything else. 